Yo, what is going on right now? Like today is just sneaker news heaven today. I, it's a lot of information. A lot. Nike is really switching up their whole everything. Okay. Like I, I literally just made a video about the Jordan sixes. I don't know if I'm going to post that before this video or after this, but the Jordan six the I don't even know how I'm going to separate these videos cuz I okay. So let's talk about this. There's a new update to the sneaker pass. Today we are making updates to the sneaker pass so you can have a better shot in securing the sneakers you love at a store near you. A store near you. So Hmm. Okay. Let me just read this and then let me um to improve to to improve your experience Nike Pass is moving away from first come first serve reservation system instead we are utilizing like draw style in a common of many sneaker launches. Now, like the draw you'll be able to request sneaker pass reservations during an extended window of time once that time closes winners will be uh chosen at random and you will be given notification of your results this evolution in sneaker pass integrates bots information tools and the same technology used during the uh, in-app to real yeah blah, 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 okay Requests, reservations, windows, open, random selections, pass distributed. It's like everybody's hitting me up right now. Uh, sneaker pass was originally yada yada 2000 allowed members uh, convinced. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Through the sneaker pass, you can reserve a pair of sneakers in your preferred size and pick up at a local retailer and pay there. The previous first come first serve meant that you would be able to get on the app when the pass was uh, live. Yeah, there were no guarantees that you can secure reservations over time. With the increasing popularity of sneakers, the difficult in securing a, pa a, a pass uh, has become clear. Our goal is to create experiences that less stressful and more convenient. We're confident this new layer of bot information, if, if, if filtration, <laughs> I said information, filtration uh, by the draw will allow more members like you to reserve your most sought after pair. We will be slowing, we, we, we will be slowly rolling out new versions of sneak of past throughout the coming week. Oh, please update okay <laughs> let me update my sneaker app right now let me update my sneaker app right now wow like the sneaker app nike is really nike i i fuck with you nike oh update yep look right here everybody update your Sneakers app. I'm updating mines right now. I'm updating mines right now. So if you're watching this video, go to your sneakers app and it should be a, uh, you should be able to update it. And let's see what this looks like. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is this is okay. So, hmm, let me see. So now it's like this. Okay, so we're okay. So we're gonna be able to get a request. Okay, hold on. Open. Sneaker pass update. 
Okay, yeah, it's just telling me. Okay, it's just just telling you exactly what's going on. Okay, so. Hmm. So no more first come, first serve. So, okay. Are they going to do this on the release day? Or are they going to do this like a day before? See, now, now I have questions, right? Because it says, because it says, you will be able to request a sneaker pass reservations during extended window of time. Once that window closes, winners will be chosen at random and you will be notified for your results. This evolution in sneaker pass uh, integrates bot filters, fi filtration, <laughs> uh, the same technology. Today we are upgrading so you can have a better chance at securing the kicks you love at a retail, at a store near you, at a store near you. Okay, so, okay, so this is, yo, this is just like JD Sports. Sneaker app is doing it just like JD Sports. This is literally just like JD Sports. Thank you. And yo, I, I just made a video. <laughs> hey, Nike, you are basically doing the same shit as JD Sports and Finish Line is doing, right? I literally just made a video yesterday, right? Well, not yesterday, but I made a video right here. And I was like, yo, JD Sports always finally figured it out how to do away with the bots and what JD sports does, right? What JD sports and what, and what foot foot. No, not, not foot JD sports and finish line. What they do is they give you exclusive access. And, um, when it's open, you have a, a window, a time frame where you can select your shoe. You can select your shoe size. Once you confirm your shoe size, then you go pick it up at the store. And when you pick it up at the store, you have to show your ID. Right. So even even if people have bots, right. If a person has a bot. They won't be able to get multiple shoes because when you go pick up. The shoe, you have to show your ID. And <laughs> not too many people are, are going to have different names of different IDs. You know what I'm saying? Unless unless people are going to start. <laughs> unless people are going to start making fake IDs with different names so they can pick. No, nah, I don't think they're not. I don't think they can. But, okay, so Sneakers app is literally doing the same thing as JD Sports. Literally doing the same thing. Because read what they say right here, right? It says, uh, you have a better chance to secure the sneaker you love at a store near you. So my question is, are they going to do this on the release day, the day of the release? or? They're going to do this sneaker pass like maybe a day or two before the sneaker release. That's my question. And my other question is. When you pick up your shoe. Are they going to ask for your ID? Hopefully they do. Hopefully they ask for your ID so they can make sure the person that won on the sneaker app is the person that's picking up the shoe. So that's the only way. You know what I mean? Like, hopefully, I like this. I like this. Hopefully, let's say we win the Jordan 6 UNCs, right? And we select it at the Galleria Mall in Foot Locker. 
when you go pick up the shoe at a Foot Locker and it's from the sneakers app, hopefully you have to show on your phone, like, hey, it says I'm the winner. Oh, okay. I need to see your phone and I need to see ID. So you have to verify by phone and the ID. Everything checks out. Here's your shoe. Eliminate the bots. I like it. I like it. So let's just see how this goes. Let's just see how this goes, man. So I just want to uh, keep y'all up to date, man. So y'all let me know. Do y'all like this? I like it. I like it because it's literally just like JD Sports. Literally just like JD Sports because JD Sports does the same thing. They give you exclusive access, a.k.a. a sneaker pass, right? A sneakers app pass. They give you exclusive access. They give you a time frame. Let you choose your size. Once you choose your size, you got to go to JD Sports to the actual store. When you go to the store, you have to show them your ID and you have to show them the app too. So I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, we just got to see how this is going to be executed. Hey man. Hey, shout out to Nike, man. Shout out to Nike and, 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 and the sneakers app for actually doing something. To try to prevent the bots. This is definitely one way where you can prevent the bots because bots have multiple names, multiple addresses, multiple, <laughs> multiple entries. But to eliminate that, you got you got to be able to go pick up the shoe in the store and show your ID and show your sneakers app. I like that. I like that. That's definitely going to. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So we just got to see how this works whenever this actually, you know, uh, actually starts starts happening. So then that man, it's your boy, DMD. We got a lot of sneaker news today, man. We got a lot of sneaker news. So y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. I think this is dope. I think this is dope. We out of here, man. Peace.